Hi guys, Mike here with Mike's Custom Model Shop. And uh, I'm going to start off a little bit different here uh, for this video. Um, I know there is probably a, a, some of you guys out there who are into music, uh, who play music maybe with a band or, you know, whatever it is that you do in music that, you know, are also model builders. Uh, and I... Uh, you know, I do music uh, for a living, and I was—I thought I'd show you guys what I do uh, for a living, uh, which is music. And um, what I do is I—I I play uh, uh, music programs at uh, nursing homes and uh, assisted living facilities, and I've uh, been doing doing this now for a little over 20 years. Uh, of course, I've been playing a band in a band though in all different kinds of bands since I got out of high school clear back in 1973 so I've been in music you know non-stop since then um, and uh, right now I'm in my uh, uh, recording uh, workshop here uh, and I play a couple three four instruments and uh, I, uh, I record myself playing instruments in order to create a song background for me to sing to. I, then I bring along my recordings and um, I sing uh, along to what I've recorded uh, and uh, do my program that way. So uh, I've, got, uh, I've amassed quite a, an array of equipment through the years. And uh, what you're looking at right now is my uh, 16 track uh, multi-track recorder uh, which I pretty much do most of my uh, recordings on um, and uh, I've been using this particular uh, 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 you know instrument here uh, piece of machinery since oh I don't know probably uh, you know around the early 2000s so I've had it for a long time and uh but uh and then of course i have my uh my drum set you got to lay down a track of drums of course that's what i lay down first and i played drums for many a year in many different bands and uh so i got my drum set crammed into this uh, little room in here um that we call the activity room and uh, i've got uh oh, several microphones uh, set up with my drum set that I uh, I pipe through uh, this uh, mixer board here and then I mix it onto my um, Fostex uh, multi-track recorder. Uh, a lot of folks uh, that do recording, music recording, they they prefer to use a computer with a recording software, but I, I like to go old school and uh, just use a standalone um uh, multi-track recorder and over here is the first multi-track recorder that I bought the digital one anyway and uh, this is a Yamaha uh, eight track digital recorder it records onto mini discs and so uh, and then I have also got quite a collection of uh, guitars and bass guitars and um, this acoustic guitar here used to belong to my dad uh, before he uh, passed away. And then I've got this guitar here, which uh, I was online on a, it's a bass guitar forum. And this guy found out that I, I like bass guitars. He asked me if I, uh, if he could give me this guitar. Uh, he, cause his wife said he had too many guitars piling up. So he, he thought maybe I'd like to have this one, and I said sure. And uh, so, and then I've got another old acoustic guitar over there. So uh, anyway, uh, I'm gonna pause the video. Like I said, I just want to let you guys know what I did for a living here. So I'm gonna pause video so that I can show you what I've been working. Okay, I'm back, uh, and I've got my uh, model here that I have completed, and. Uh, it is the Chrysler Atlantic concept car uh, by Lindbergh uh, 125th scale 
and uh, this is a model that uh, I uh, I didn't realize what kind of a model it was when I ordered it. Uh, I might not have ordered it if I would have known. It's it's another uh, what they call a curbside model, which is is more or less it's just a show uh, model, uh, and it you know it does not have an engine uh, in it, uh, and uh, it's just basically the body and the interior and all that. But I I, I like the looks of it, and I I'm always a sucker for different looking types of cars and the price was right so i decided to go ahead and order it anyway i'm going to remove the box and show you what i got and here it is my uh, uh chrysler uh, uh concept car and uh i didn't paint it because this is the color of the body uh, already came in and i just thought okay well uh, I like the color that it, it came in, and I just decided to go ahead and leave it that way. Um, and um, I, uh, I did a little bit of uh, work with it as far as the uh, body. I did a little bit of uh, trim work with it with the Molotow chrome pin. Uh, I did, did some uh, Molotow chrome pin with there, and uh, there's a ridge going all along the the top of the uh, car which i went ahead and put a molotov chrome pin on there um and the wheels i painted the middle of the wheels a, um, a gold color i used acrylic gold uh for it the uh the back has got a glass piece there that I went ahead and, and uh, it was clear, but I went ahead and, and took a red marker and uh, went along it and it gave it a red tint, uh, you know, just to kind of simulate the look of a, uh, a back uh, tail light. And uh, let's see, what else did I do here? Oh, I went ahead and uh, painted the... Uh, uh, this they got the side lights here which i painted those red i i'm just assuming those are like uh, turn signal lights and it's didn't really have much as far as the front part of this uh it had the grill pieces the and, and all the the headlight the glass pieces there and and then this hood ornament uh and that was pretty much it and in the back it really wasn't much to the back here that it had a back ornament on the trunk there which i put that on there and then of course uh it had the uh, tailpipes some chrome tailpipes i went ahead and painted the inside of those um uh flat black and uh let's see all oh, the uh the side view mirrors uh let's see if i can get it so you can see I used the Molotow chrome pin uh, on the uh, side view mirrors to simulate glass. And the interior, uh, it wasn't really much that I did with it. I uh, The seats, I, I did a two-tone. Uh, I used uh, some uh, black satin paint to do a two-tone there. Uh, the windows, I kind of screwed up, unfortunately. Um, yeah, let me see. There's a, a blemish uh, on the back window. I guess it's not that noticeable, but the front uh, window it definitely is noticeable there. Uh, and unfortunately, got some glue on there. Uh, the uh, the inside there, I it didn't. It was supposed to come with a gear shifter, and I did not find it. So I do what I do a lot of times, which I take a hairpin. And I paint the uh, the end of it, you know, whatever color I want to paint it. And uh, if you can see it in there. Uh, see if I can get that. Okay. So I painted it, the end of it red. And then you can see the, uh, the, the steering wheel. I, I did it a brown and gold uh, scheme there. 
and then the interior was just pretty much already in there except for the, the two seats there um, the two seats in there were separate and the dashboard was separate uh, so it was already in there and I just thought okay well I don't really need to do much with that and like I said you know this is a curbside model and uh, uh, it was just like I said it, it said it did say in the instructions that there's minimal gluing so I'm going to turn this over and show you what I did with the um, the bottom part of it as you can see it's already outlined with um, uh, pieces you know parts uh, on the bottom which I could paint which of course I did paint uh, I painted a combination of either silver and, uh, and copper and you can see the front uh, suspension components there I painted those a copper color as well as the back and then there was some other pieces in the back there that I went ahead and painted copper and then the the back uh, gas tank I painted silver um, the uh, the the bottom the chassis actually screwed in I don't know if you can let me okay I guess I messed up with it the, I hit the wrong button and I had to restart the video uh, okay like I was saying the bottom has a couple of spots here uh, where you, you actually had screws to screw it into the the body uh, of the car and then there's one well, if you probably can't see it there there's another screw right there um, so um, but anyway, I tried to, you know, get it, uh, uh, the colors in there as much as I could to kind of give it some variety uh, as far as the look of it. And then, of course, you can see the uh, the two tailpipes, the chrome tailpipes there. So uh, basically, this is it, uh, guys. Uh, it, it didn't really take much to build this. I think I, I started it about three days ago. <laughs> and i got pretty much got it done and i think it's a really a neat looking car um although i was kind of hoping that it would have been a regular car where i could have done the whole route with it you know with the engine and everything but that's not what kind of a car it was um so but i like it anyway uh so you guys let me know what you think of this uh you know any uh uh, likes or dislikes or suggestions or whatever you'd like to tell me and uh, you know I hope you enjoyed it and uh, anyway so you guys uh, have a great rest of the evening and uh, God bless all of you